Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mom29, working on me and my husband's financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, what we're gonna do is close out the month of September's um, numbers budget. I'm usually not a fan, I'm not gonna lie, just because you can see the flaws in all my actions, but it's necessary. It is so necessary to see how we planned for September to go and how September actually went. And September was a crazy month for us. We had the hurricane um, Francine or Francine? No, Francine, I think. So we're gonna close out the numbers. I think we have the second paycheck budget and then we also have the full month of September. And then we're also gonna close out this hurricane fund and see like where our money actually went and how much I owe my credit card because I did swipe my credit card. Um, we did leave for Francine. We're not from here, okay? And here being New Orleans, <laughs> okay? We're scared. So I say that to say we got some numbers and stuff to go over with that as well. So, but if you don't know, your girl, that's me, is on her journey to 5,500 YouTube subscribers before the end of 2024. So if you haven't already and you enjoy this content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And yes, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, this is my budget planner, aka it's a binder. I love to share that just because I feel like there's a lot of intimidation um, when it comes to budgeting. Oh, I gotta get this, I gotta get that. And it's like, why am I spending all this money and I got all this expensive, you know, crap to do a budget. Now I can't afford other stuff. It's really, it becomes a thing. I, I feel like sometimes if we dive in too much, we spiral. Anyways, so I love to say it's just a binder. It's just a binder. These are prints um, that I created on Paper by Mo. I'm not sitting here telling you guys to buy it. You can literally just do a piece of paper and a pen. That's all. That's all. Okay, so let's get into september <clears throat> first thing i want to get into for september before we actually talk about the numbers is the goals i try to do goals every month for me and my husband to reach that we sit down and we talk about i promise you guys i just don't make this up on my own we literally sit down chit chat about it so the first goal for my husband and i for september was to have a great and fun honeymoon did we and i put o and m because m is for mo and o is for my husband this was both goals right we actually got married last year, October, we eloped. <laughs> we had a wedding this year, but we took our time to do a honeymoon and we ended up going on a cruise. The, was the cruise fun? Yes, did we have a good time? We did. My husband and I never went out the country together. I don't think my husband ever went out the country as an adult, but that's another story. So he wanted to ease into it. I'm not a big cruise girl. And did we have fun? Yes, I'm gonna check this off. But y'all, we ended up getting freaking COVID, okay? The vid, that sucked. And then when we came back from the honeymoon, there was a hurricane. So it was just, September was just a lot of stuff going on. But nonetheless, was the honeymoon fun? It was. Um, the second thing, daily affirmations. Um, we did not do daily affirmations, so I'm not gonna lie. I would love to say, oh my God, we were in the bed. We were in a hotel room, sick as a dog, listening to affirmations. Yes, we are healthy. We are good. We wasn't doing that. I was sad, mad and sick okay so no we did not do that i definitely need to do a better job with the daily affirmations i feel like it helps but it's something you just got to remember so for me i'm trying to get back into the library get back into reading some books <clears throat> because life's been lifing and work has been testing my patience and my soul i need something to release myself and i did not go back to the library so i really need to put that over in october um so my husband's goal was to get a commission check for a thousand dollars or more for the month of october his commission check was 989 dollars and 21 cents so very 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 close i kind of want to just check it off because i don't know i just feel like the closeness was good enough but i'm not gonna do it because it's a lie but i still think he did an amazing job Okay, and then the last one was to set plan for Mo, basically for the end of the year. Like, what do I wanna do? I have not done that either. <laughs> I really didn't do too much um, in the month of September, but go on a honeymoon trip and get sick, if I'm being honest. Um, but basically what I mean by this is that, <clears throat> you know, October, November, December, the last quarter of the year is a great time to prepare for the new year, which is 2025. And I haven't really gotten into it. I like to try to get myself together in the last quarter to prepare for the new year. But life is life in it. And I feel like, you know, it's telling me to calm down, slow it down. Okay? She said calm down and slow down. 
So we're gonna take out some paper. If you know, you know that I write hard. And I love, okay, to write to the side. But I'm gonna take out some paper, some um, of the budget sheets so we can write on them and close them out. So the first paycheck for September is closed, okay? We did the actual, got our actual numbers in, and that's great. <clears throat> now we need to also do the uh, second paycheck. There's a few transactions I wanna do, but it's really not a lot. Um, I think I have four of them on here. <laughs> And then um, I, I feel like I have to put them on here to explain. Usually I try to put the food on here. As you can see, food is an orange. But my husband and I, we took out cash and we kind of haven't been keeping track of them, like the receipts. So I'm not going to um, talk about food. I'm just going to say for that second paycheck, we budgeted out 200 and we're going to say we just used the 200 because unfortunately we didn't do a very good job at keeping track of our receipts. I know these are the things, these are the things, okay. So some of these, it's only four transactions. Some of them are gonna be in September and then some of them are gonna be in October because it's the last paycheck for September, which means we fed that into the beginning of October. Okay, so first things first, I don't know if this is gonna be in order or not. Um, September 28th, this is Dollar Tree. Um, if you don't shop at Dollar Tree to get all your house supplies, I don't know what you're doing, okay? Like cleaning supplies. It's pretty great as long as your Dollar Tree is um, stocked. That's usually our problem. So this ended up being $13.37 and I got quite a bit of things because you know everything's like $1 and a quarter. Boo, I know. The quarter is crazy. Um, the next thing is going to be, see, it's not in order because this one is September 26th. So I got waxed and um, I'm trying to take this out of my sinking fund or like my not my sinking fund our sinking fund because this benefits us both if you get what i'm saying <laughs> but our sinking fund slash our fund money um it's actually only 50 something dollars but i kind of tipped a little high and so me and my husband were talking about that we gotta we gotta calm down on them. i mean there's nothing wrong with a good tip but we need to budget the tip so that ended up being 69 46 dollars because i think it's really 55 dollars so there's that okay and then the next one Oh no, I'm lying. It's not 69.46. It's six. It was 62.16. I'm reading a whole nother. Let me get my white out. Okay, I was reading a whole nother um, entry. Okay, so I was thinking too. Like, dang girl, did you really? That was that was a good tip. Okay, it ended up being 62 dollars and 16 cent. Okay, and that was on yeah September 26. I think. Okay. Anyways, the next one, no, it wasn't. It was on the 30th. See what I'm saying? These are the things you gotta. So that was on the 30th. All right, so now we're gonna go to September 26th, which this was my chart, meaning. So when you go to the doctor's office and you pay your copay, cool. But then, like, they take blood, and then months later or a month later, you find out you got a freaking bill, which is crazy, right? And usually, I'm okay with the bill because we have the flexible spending account or whatever where you put money aside from your full-time job your paycheck right you put a little bit of money aside um and they take it out of your check and then you get that money back after tax or before tax i'm sorry so the money's not taxed good stuff here's the problem i only did 700 dollars for 2024 and we're out of it so i actually had to pay for this and this is this is going to be important because you're going to see <clears throat> we ended up putting quite a bit of money towards our credit cards my husband and i so that's 69 dollars and 46 cents which I thought that was crazy. I don't know what what category healthcare because what like I'm just not a fan of that. So that was 69.46. That's the one I was reading wrong. Um, the next one we have is oh, and I think this is the last one. One, two, three. Yeah, this one was October fifth. Uh, so this one here is a bill, right? Did I did we put this one already? No. Okay. And this one is Apple. I thought I saw Apple. I did, but it was 69 now. Okay, so this is just like the storage, and that one ended up being 99 cents. So this 69.46 literally is just coming from my paycheck. And then previously, I also had like um got some glasses, which was over hundred dollars. So from one from Zinni, which was 51.75, and then one from Zilul or however you say it, 57.98. Stuff that I need to budget out because I didn't really budget it. I just did it. Don't be like me. Don't be like me and just do it. You know, sometimes. But maybe not, because then you're gonna owe money on your credit card. 
okay so that's all the transactions i have for that now we're gonna go ahead and do the second paycheck budget we're gonna close her out y'all okay so if you don't know we are doing our zero based budgeting meaning that every dollar has a job um that's why i try to like be specific as possible but some of the numbers are going to be different because of the credit cards okay so our actual saying zero which means that we have zero dollars on our account do we actually have zero dollars no we probably got 10 or 15 maybe 20 because that's kind of our our buffer just in case something hits the fan and a little bitty 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 amount of money we need that's that okay so my full-time job i do get paid by weekly just like my husband but i do get paid um salary so mine doesn't usually change unless i like have a raise or something two thousand three hundred ninety six dollars and one cent so my husband usually is sixteen hundred dollars um this check in the past few checks has actually been one thousand five hundred eighty eight dollars and sixty four cents he gets paid hourly um and then youtube thank you guys so much for watching i try to put all youtube money towards um my student loans and or like my youtube stuff bills so you're like what is that like canva i pay a monthly bill for canva um and then what else oh my paper by mo website costs 30 something dollars a month which is why i keep saying i'm getting rid of it but do i get rid of it I will I promise it's it, I'm gonna I have to financially I gotta get rid of it so let's at 239 239 2396 dollars 2396 dollars and one cent we're gonna add that and then we're gonna plus um 1588 64 okay then we're gonna plus 141.81 so that's four thousand one hundred twenty six dollars and forty six cent so it's about ten dollars or so off not mad at that at all so that's one thousand oh i said one four thousand one hundred twenty six dot forty six okay so that's the actual income we have for the second paycheck we're gonna bring her over to our fixed expenses we do our um rent basically we split it in two checks we split it in two checks for the month that's coming up, not the month that we're in. If we were to split it in two checks for the month that we're in, that means we will be late for our rent because our rent is due on the first. So um, somebody told me that that means that we're ahead of our bills. I don't, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think some people can see it as being ahead. I feel like we're on time because again, if we get paid twice a month, let me, what was this? This is for September, right? October let me just show you guys so if we get paid twice a month and we split it that means we wouldn't be paying our rent until the 27th and that means our rent will be higher than because you got late fees and and stuff like that so I understand people are like oh no 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 that means you guys are ahead of your bills I don't know I feel like we're just on time um but I don't know anyways moral of the story is <laughs> this is for the month of October so that 804 went to October's rent, although it was taken in September. Um, I feel like the where I would like us to be a month ahead of our bills, meaning that we have, we're able to take this out for October and also have the next month's pay, um, like prepared, which would be November. I hope that makes some type of sense, I don't know. Okay, so $4,126.46 is what we have for um, the actual, and then we're gonna subtract 804. So now we have 3,322.46. Okay, so we have 3,322.46. Then we're gonna take it from fixed expenses and we're gonna go to food. Now I already told you guys, we did not do a good job of keeping up with our receipts and stuff because we did take the cash out. <laughs> Gosh, but um, yeah. So we're just gonna put the 200. Now when it comes to gas and fun, we, we just, distribute the money regardless regardless of how much fun or how much gas we need so i think my gas only actually spent 27 dollars, but that's okay because that three dollars is just gonna stay in my little account or whatever and maybe i might use it for a coffee or something that's kind of just how we do it it works best that way it's kind of harder for us when we are anal and detail it don't get me wrong i used to do it it's just we just found out it works a little bit better this way. So we have about $80 a month that we play with when it comes to our fun and our gas, not a month, I'm sorry, paycheck, that we play with when it comes to our fun and our gas. And it just works better that way for us. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. 
so that's 100 that's 300 and then that's 60 so we're gonna put 360 here and then we're gonna take the three thousand three hundred twenty two dollars forty six cents and we're gonna subtract 360 okay so that's gonna be two thousand nine hundred sixty two dollars and forty six cents okay two thousand nine six two dot forty six okay now we're moving on to our iras if you don't know we are trying to reach the goal for the year of 2024, which is, I mean the max, which is the goal, which was $7,000. So we're in the fives. So we still got some ways to go. Also, if you guys are contributing to your IRA, make sure you guys actually allocate the money into um, an investment portfolio. I say that because my husband forgets, a lot of people forget, and it could be detrimental because he's really just holding the money like a bank account, but yeah. Anyways, the goal is to have it invested. So the goal, the total here is $582. We're gonna take the 2,962.46 cents. 2,962.46 cents, yeah, okay. We subtract 582. And now we have $2,380.46. So now we have 2,380.46. Now when it comes to student loans and credit card, this is where the numbers get icy dicey because we owe our freaking credit card some money basically basically because a lot of stuff has been coming up um i just went ahead and just gave student loans two thousand now whose student loans did i give two thousand dollars to i gave it to mine my husband's student loans are currently in i think it is a deferment anyways basically he had a he was on the save plan or he is on the save plan and because that is in litigation which it is making some movement um but we'll see when the pause for the interest and the pause on the payments start back up um since he it since he has those pauses going we decided we would just put stuff towards mine because i do have a lot of interest gaining every month so with that being said that's two thousand dollars that we put so when we subtract that two thousand that means we put three hundred and eighty dollars and forty six cents towards credit cards i know a hot mess but you got to do what you got to do so when you add all this together, this is $2,380.46, and then we have zero left over. Okay, so that is the second paycheck budget that is closed out. Um, now we need to get to September. My only thing about writing it in this purple is I know for a fact that is a different purple. So let's maybe do black. I think this is a Staples pen. I might have stole it. And I don't really like it, but it is black. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do all of the numbers for September and close her out. Um, this is the second paycheck. And then this is the first paycheck. So the first paycheck is where our bills come out of. Um, so we're going to definitely need to look at this. But let's go ahead and look at the full-time checks. So I know commission is different. We put it differently, but usually it um I just factor it into the full time, like what's expected, okay? So we set 3,900 is what we thought for my husband. So the first check he got $1,591.71. Then we're gonna add his 989.21. Then we're gonna add that second one, which was plus 1588 dot 64 okay so he brought in four thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars and fifty six cents period so it was more than what he expected or we expected so we're gonna go ahead and put the starting is gonna be zero and then we're gonna go ahead and put four thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars and fifty six cents you see how slow i write that i wrote that <laughs> i'm trying to make sure she fits in the in the um, lines okay so mine is 2396.01 both times 2396.01 yep and then we're gonna times that by two so that's gonna be four thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars and two cent easy to guess four thousand seven nine two dot zero two all right so we're gonna add that plus the four thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars got 56 cent that is going to be eight thousand nine hundred sixty one dollars and fifty eight cent oh wait no we need to add youtube let's put youtube on here okay and so youtube brought in one 
41.81 okay so that's eight thousand nine hundred sixty one dollars fifty eight cent then we're gonna add one forty one dot eighty one so we have nine thousand one hundred three dollars and thirty nine cent okay nine thousand one hundred three dot thirty nine okay let's see if the numbers are going to number okay okay Put this up like this so when we get to the fixed expenses which is our first um i don't know category 1608 is the 80404 is the 1608 so we're gonna put 1608 electricity we said 150 we were actually 157.56 157.56 so it was higher internet stays the same that was 51.50 phone bill ended up being 178 i don't know it like fluctuates but again i always say that this is phone bill is for me my mom and my husband it's on my mom's at&t plan and she has like internet and cable she got a whole bunch of crap on that plan so i don't really know what or why it fluctuates okay so subscriptions was 22 dollars. that's like our apple music um our apple storage crap like that hulu is 99 cent that's that so my husband's student loan is not $300 right now, but we still gave $300. My student loan payment at the moment is $197. Um, people ask me, why is it cheaper even though you owe more? And I make the amount of money I make. I looked into it. It's because I haven't recertified how much money I make. When I do, I think I have to do it at the end of the year. It's going to go up. So have no fear. The price will be higher. Okay. So YMCA, that's $71.10. My husband and I have been talking about maybe getting rid of it, the YMCA membership. Um, I don't know. It's going to be a conversation. Okay, so when it comes to car insurance, currently that is $234.02. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to go up. That's a whole nother story. But when it goes up, you guys will know because I just, ugh, you know. Um, and then the last one is life insurance, and that is... That was actually 104.28. I don't know if I'm like reading the numbers wrong and I say 108 and sometimes 104 or what, but this is actually how much when you add the numbers. Like my husband is 50 something and then mine is 50 something, whatever. When you add it up, it equals that amount. So let's add these all together and see where our bills are. So we have 1608 um, plus 157.56 plus 51.50 plus 178 plus 22 plus 300 plus 197 plus 71.10 plus 234.02 and then plus 104.28 okay $2,923.46 so a little higher $2,923 and then we're gonna put dot 46. So we're gonna take this number, really we're gonna start over 9,103.39 and then we're gonna subtract 2,923.46. 2,923.46, yes. So that means we have $6,000 left over, which I'm grateful for that, 6,179.43. Okay, so then we're gonna bring it down here and we're gonna get into food. So we have 200 and then 196.62. So that's gonna be 396.62. So we're under our food budget, 396.62. Um, and then for my gas, we did 30. And then for my husband's gas, we did 30, which means we only did 60. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's gonna be money left over, but I know it probably just went to our credit cards if I'm being honest. And then we did 50-50 for for um fun i should put 100 50 50 each check <laughs> so 100 and then 100 so this here we have um 396.62 plus 60 plus 60 plus 200 that's gonna be 716 dollars and 62 cent okay 716.62 we're going to take 716.62 and then we're going to subtract the $6,179.93. So 
So now we have $5,463.31. See if I can write this nice and small. I have a problem. $5,463.31. Okay, so now we're going to move from variables to savings. Um, we did give a pretty hefty size, sorry, sinking fund. Um, so what we did was did $800. So we're going to go ahead and put $800. And then 291 $291 per person. So that's 291 times 2, which is 582. Yes, okay. So we actually gave 582. And then we gave 582. If you're wondering why we give so much to sinking funds, really, my husband, um, his Thanksgiving, he's, we're doing Thanksgiving separate this year just because life um so he's gonna go back home and then my family's gonna come here then christmas and then my husband's siblings birthday it was a whole bunch of stuff so just stuff is just popping up that's basically why we did so much so 582 times 2 plus 800 is actually 1964 dollars so it was 200 dollars over 1964 so we're gonna take this no, let's just do the number. So we're going to do $5,463.31. And then we're going to subtract $1,964. Okay, so now we have $3,499.31. Okay, let's see. So the first check when it comes to student loans, we did $1,100. 15 okay got 47 and then we're gonna add and then we're gonna add the 2000 so we actually did three thousand one hundred fifteen dollars and 47 cents towards student loans which wasn't bad three thousand one one five dot 47 is this gonna make sense i hope so and then when it came to credit card we put 380 46 i don't know y'all this is let's see 380.46 let's see if it makes sense so three thousand one hundred fifteen dollars forty seven cents and then we're gonna plus 380.46 okay that's three thousand four hundred ninety five dollars and ninety three cents that means that we have five dollars left over i think let's see three that's a three i promise it's an ugly three three thousand Four nine five dot ninety three. When we take this and we subtract three four nine nine dot three one, that's three dollars. Okay, this is not that bad. I mean, it's still. I promise you, there is no three dollars and thirty eight cents in our account. We for sure probably put that to credit card. But this is not bad at all. Um, we could have did a way better job with keeping track of our food expenses for the second paycheck budget but we didn't i mean we're human life lives so it is what it is um some of the some of the stuff was higher i didn't like calculate or add it all out total it out for the first paycheck i don't know why i didn't do it but i think i didn't have it all together when i actually did the close out um so some of the numbers are higher uh really just electricity um 157 56 um we was originally expecting 150 so that sucked but the phone bill was a dollar cheaper so you know you win some you lose some <laughs> um what else really that was it we credit card the credit card is a hot mess but that's okay i know like the expenses from the cash the cash from the hurricane came up on the credit card so that's why some of it was higher but let, that's what we're going to go ahead and get into next god i don't want this video to be years and years long but we got to get into this cash for the hurricane okay so this is what we currently have um i kind of like folded up the hundred dollar bill put it in the back because i didn't want nobody to you know see us walking around with a lot of cash that's that's scary you can get bust upside your head so we're gonna count the cash out, but also let's go and see what the numbers we're talking about for hurricane stuff that went on the credit card. So we did, so let me break down the hurricane a little bit. We did stay at a hotel. It cost about $600. 
um come to find out my job if there's like an evacuation thing by the state my job will cover some expenses so they ended up covering the 600 dollars, which was the um hotel stay okay woo, woo. so that was really 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 good um where did i put the black pen girl do better i don't know so we'll just do a different color but that was really really good however um there were other expenses you know like gas food stuff like that that we ended up paying for so i'm so grateful but i'm gonna put an asterisk by everything that was hurricane that really we, we need to pay my credit card back for this is why i think we have so much going on um that's for hurricane stuff right so i'm gonna put that was so ugly anyways hurricane but then okay this was like n not we didn't set out any money for this for real we said sinking fund but i didn't take it from sinking fund which is probably why same thing with like the house this is a big problem for us um we'll say like oh we'll take it out of sinking funds and then we time will come and then we'll let life go by and then we don't take it out of sinking funds but let's get the total numbers of how much we would like owe ourselves then there was so this is what was on the credit card but then there was stuff we did pay with cash because a lot of people told me like oh if there's a hurricane they don't take cash i mean they don't take card but you know we went to alabama <laughs> so by the time we got there some stuff we ended up paying our card for like i said sometimes you might feel a little uncomfortable having a whole bunch of cash on you so that's just like the way we was living it so let's do 5.66 plus can you guys see that 5.66 plus 29 dot 52 plus 3 dot 43 plus 21 dot 44 so i think that's it one two three four so this is so it was 60 dollars and five cent that was on the credit card and let's put that down 60.05 so we're gonna just you know maybe take 60 dollars and then we're gonna see how much we have left over um yeah don't we just love to count money <laughs> Okay, so these are the ones. Here are the fives. Oh, it's a lot of fives. And then here are the tens. So we use all the twenties as well. What I'm feeling like I'm seeing out here in the streets. Okay, so we got $100. And we need to take 60. So let's take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Put this to the side. I'm going to take this to the bank. Okay, and now let's get into it. Okay, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, um, 10, 20, 30. So that's 230 thus far. I'm gonna write this on the side, cause I know me, 230. And then let's do the fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 60, 40, 40. 200 200 okay so that's 300 um of fives and that's gonna be plus the 230. So that's, we're at 530. And then let's count the ones. Okay, so we got one, That's 50. Okay, and that's 60. So it's $60 in ones. Okay, so we should have, that means 590. So that's really gonna be 530 plus 60. That means we have $590 currently with our hurricane money. And although that was one hurricane, and it really wasn't that bad, thank God. But, you know, you never know that's the problem there are so many more hurricanes coming so i pray you guys all prepare yourselves 
because 2024 hurricane season is not over unfortunately so here we are but i'm gonna go ahead and close this out um that 60 dollars is gonna go to the bank because again this is what we used it for that's the point of having it so we don't have to just like come out of nowhere with the money um we probably need to give the hurricane a little bit more money i don't know i was so grateful to my job but again i don't know if they're gonna do it all the time you know or how i don't i don't really know the parameters of them helping people out with hurricane stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed the closeout the hurricane i'm counting make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in another video bye